All right, guys, this is test number two with the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Paints. I tried it in a colander pour, and it came out not that great. Um, so these are not on my you should get list yet. Uh, the reason that I don't like them is because the consistency is not conducive to all types of paintings like maybe you know a dirty pour or something like that but they're very thin so you either have to thicken them up with a thickening agent or you know go with what you've got um so i'll try this technique out and see if it works okay so i'm just going to pour them in i used black in this one i didn't use any black in my colander pour but I just wanted to see. So see, they hold the rings really well to begin with, but the colors definitely mix together a little bit. But the black and the yellow didn't make a, a green, so this black must have a different undertone to it. You know, blacks have undertones of reds, browns, blues, um, so this, this definitely didn't mix together. So that's a cool part. Okay. So I'm sticking to the, <laughs> I'm sticking to the floor. Okay. All right. So here we go. Just gonna doesn't matter because the rings are wrecked, so it doesn't matter how you get the canvas there. I mean, how you get the paint on the canvas. Hope I had enough paint. I've had this issue the past couple of times. And I didn't put a layer down, so. Stretch that all the way over here before I go off. Oh, there went my center. I'll turn it around for you. I mean, as far as a ring pour goes, it's really holding the shape of the rings really well. And it's not, um, the colors aren't bleeding together. And that is something that is actually very good. Sometimes when you add too much medium or too much water to a painting, your colors will bleed together and you don't want that. So that is one good thing about this medium. I am worried that I won't have enough paint. Okay, I'm gonna come down here to this side. My last side, I know you can't see it that well. So for this technique, I would say this wasn't too shabby. I'm just going to touch this last little part right here to get it to go over the edges. So yeah, that part right there, not too shabby. I'll take you down so you can see what I mean about like the colors not bleed. Gosh, that's a really pretty painting. Okay. Okay, so this is what I mean by the colors not bleeding together. You see, I put the, you know, the black next to the yellow. That green came from blue and yellow together, but look at that black and the yellow. Like, they stayed pretty true to color, so that is one good thing. And gloss medium always helps with that, and this paint definitely has some type of gloss medium in it. I can tell by the way that it's reacting, and it says on the bottle that it dries glossy, but... <laughs> um, but the effects of it are, are cool. It's just not not for the colander pour and not for some of my pours that need to be thicker. Um, but just for regular, like if you just want to go and get, you know, if you're starting out and you want, you don't want to buy Floatrol and gloss medium and, you know, Liquitex pouring medium or GAC, all those things are expensive as well. Um, then you could maybe think about getting this on sale and just trying it out. See if you like pours, um, see if you like doing this. Um, but, you know, I think they would be okay to have, but I wouldn't use them all the time. I would only use them for specific things. But for a wreck ring man, this turned out 
I, I like this. This one turned out pretty darn cool. So I'll see how it dries, and you guys can let me know if you've tried them before, if you like them, if you have any cool techniques that you found that they work for. I know Olga's done some, Mixed Media Girl has done some videos on it. I'm sure there's tons of other, uh, Tammy Anderson, I think, has done some as well. But that's a pretty cool pour right there. I like that one. All right, you guys. Until next time, happy painting. Bye. All right, you guys. I wanted to show you, so while I still have some daylight left, how shiny that dried. I mean, uh, wow. I really, really like this painting. The lighting is not great in here, but... I hope you can see how amazing, I mean, it's like I put coats of varnish on this and it dried so smooth and the colors are just amazing. So while these paints are not for, you know, every pour, I still don't agree with using one viscosity or one, you know, thickness or thinness for each pour, but... I am in love with these. They don't bleed together. So for this type of pour, for, you know, a ring pour, even the rings, look at how the rings held together. I mean, it's just beautiful. And I got a little bit of like the color overlayment there. Really, really pretty effect. Now, I'm not going to show you guys the other one that I did. It's basically just, a, it would be a waste of a video, but I will show you the outcome so I tried a, it's like stuck to the table. Hold on. Okay. So I tried a colander pour and again, it dried really pretty. And there are like a couple little parts to it that were okay. But I mean, that's like a disaster guys. <laughs> I mean, in reality, like a total disaster. So I didn't show the video, but I literally just took the paints, poured them through the colander like I always do, and I, I knew that they were going to be too thin, but I thought maybe because the paints don't bleed together that some of the design would hold, but it doesn't. But this one I'm in love with. So I think that there's some utilization um, for the Artist Loft uh, Ready Mixed Paints. Again, I think if you are just beginning and you want to just try this out and see if you like it without buying, you know, a bunch of Floatrol and gloss medium and all this other stuff, and you want a really shiny finish, then go with these. I mean, look at that. And it dried so flat and beautiful. Now, people ask me this a lot. Varnish is not just to make them glossy. If you're using a professional varnish, and I don't mean polyacrylic, I mean, or polycrylic, um, I mean like a Liquitex or a golden varnish, they have UV protection in them to protect against fading, and that is why I varnish my paintings, um, you know, to prevent kind of that flaking and fading over time, um, especially since we're mixing you know, this with water and other mediums. So, oh, yeah, I like it. So I would still varnish this, at least one coat, but that's really all it needs. Um, you know, just a couple of coats to go over it. So anywho, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I am going to test out, I just received in the mail my Arteza um, Pour it ready pour, so I will be testing those out as well to see how those hold up. Um, and maybe I'll try these same techniques to kind of do a comparison. I still want to do a swipe like Olga from Smart Art. I really liked hers, but I don't have any of the gold, but maybe I'll just do it with the yellow. All right, you guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you for the next one. Yep. Happy painting. Bye.